Right, um, I'm carrying on with this video of the, the, the glue. You might recall that um, I did some repairs. Um, you know, it's a bit discolouring there, but it's smooth. You can take my word for it there. And there, some little dings. Um, and uh, basically I used different types of sandpaper to get them down. Now, on here, there's a whole load of wax that when I was very stupidly, I put some household wax on it and I can't get rid of it. I tried the um, guitar polish and that didn't seem to work. So I've ordered something which is a guitar cleaner, which should come soon. But in the meantime, I'll do something on that. But in the meantime, I've noticed that around the sandings where I've sanded this down, there's little, there, you know, there's little scrape marks. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've wet some wet and dry here in strips. I've soaked them, start with 1200 grit, then 4000, then 6000 and 8000 grit. And what I've done is I've made up a, I found a bit of rubber really, and I put double sided tape on it. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, if I can find the right end, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to work my way up with wet and dry, well, sorry, wet paper, and hopefully I'm going to get rid of those little scrape marks. So we'll work our way down in grit. Now, I can feel it sort of biting into it. Very hard to tell which side's the gritty bit, really. But what I'm going to do, where the wax is here, I'm also going to try a bit the wet and dry and see if I can take off that wax as well. I should also mention on the back of this, you may remember, there was there was quite a bit of um, um, discolouring, which looks like some sort of creamy colour in the varnish itself. Now I'm told with Rodriguez that they that's not an unusual feature of time. Right, so there's the, the this is now 1200, I've done that. So we'll just do that a bit more around there. That's it, now I'll take the 1200 off. Hope I've got the right ends here. Now this is the pink, which is the 4,000. This one's easier to tell which is which side's which because it's you can see the rougher side. It's very hard to tell. Anyway, that goes on there now. And so now... I'm doing that. Hopefully, then when I polish this with the cleaner before, well, I'll do these things first. So now I can feel I want to do those bits first. So this is a, that was the six. So what did I say? That was the four thousand grit. This one. Grit. 
And then we go to the next one, which is six. I don't know if this should actually get rid of that wax that was on here before, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the six. Now I'm going to go on now to the 6,000. Oh, by the way, um, because the colouring is so similar that I put little pencil marks on them so I can identify which is the grit. Um, you really need to. They all feel the same. You won't be able to put your finger on it and go, that's this and that's that. You've got to write it down. The packet you'll see that I bought actually got a... This is called 3M Polishing Papers. So you can see it's got the, it's light green mint. Well, I can't tell the difference between a mint and a grey or mint and pink. They all look so very similar. Anyway, so this is. Oh, by the way, the papers I the papers I I, I how long do I do that? I soak the papers for at least an hour. Um, I don't know how how long. Um, how long it takes in the motor trade to do that somebody said to me they, leave, they soak them overnight wet and dry but i don't know so anyway there we go i'm doing that it's taking quite a while luckily i'm playing my electric guitar at the moment so classic guitar has been mainly put to one side i don't really know how long to do this for so I'm no expert, I'm just showing you what I did and, you know, there's no question about it, you save money doing it yourself. Also, there's a bit of fun doing it yourself. Oh. A bit of fun doing it yourself, you feel like you're achieving something. Right, now, that's that. Now we come on to the final paper, which is this one, which is the 8,000. They call this uh, a light green, that. They call it a light green. Anyway, this is the final one. So we'll see how that goes. Don't know if that's gonna make any difference or not. Anyway, it can't do any harm with the proceed with the previous polish. Right now, I've done that. Now. This is my polishing cloth, but um, I don't really want to use that. I think I'll just, uh, I haven't got any tissues. Perhaps I'll let it air dry. First of all, yeah, I'm just gonna wipe it off with my cloth hand. I don't really want to put wet water on the cloth. Now, so just dry that a bit. Well, the first thing I've got to say, I'm now gonna polish this up, dry it now with that. Got to say, that that looks a lot better. Um, and those smears up in the middle there seem to, I mean, I can't say they've gone, but uh, they're a lot better. So what I'll do is I haven't put the cleaner on. I'm not gonna bother cleaning this now. Um, I'm not going to bother cleaning it because I want to the other stuff comes soon I'll be able to the cleaner that comes the, the proprietary one I'll put that on and I'll polish again so I'm not going to polish that again with this I'll do it till that's happened but interestingly enough while I'm on the f while I'm at it look see there's that 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 kind of milkiness but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, since I know that there's 4,000, 6,000, 
I'm just going to try which is the that's the rougher side there but I'm just going to well it's used use it use it up I'm going to have a go at this creamy it's I can see quite a lot of the wax from when I was polishing it before and it's so anyway we'll see I'll just sand this down or Try. I might I should have started perhaps with a tougher grit. This is quite a fine one. Funny enough, I've got oh, it's, there's some stuff coming off on there. I think what I'm going to do is I've got um, somewhere where I did have, let me see if I can find it, yep, I've got a, a slightly rougher grit which is dry, which hasn't been used, I think this would be yellow, uh, this would be 600 grit, so what I'm going to do is I'll put this on now, the 600 grit, Oh, I can hear that. Don't know if you can hear that or not. But you can certainly hear it. Ah, oh, look. Well, that's, that's certainly done something there. So I'll go back to this. I'll just wet that again. I've got some water. Just wet that. This has got that horrible wax I put on it as well, that furniture wax. A real mistake. So, anyway, the wife I can hear coming back soon, and she doesn't know I'm doing this, so she's likely to shout up the stairs. So, you might get a bit of that. So, then I'm going to try the 4000. Oh, that's the, that's my Alexa. That's not the wife. You, know, you can barely hear that, so I'll just carry on doing that. See that, that, that cream, that, that seems to be right through the varnish. I don't think I'll be able to get rid of that. get rid of the polish that I put on it that might be a result right let's wet this again Yeah, it must have been done by now. I'll now move on to the 6,000. Don't need to add any water to that because I think there's water already on it.
The last one will be the 8000. Dry it off then. Be nice to get rid of the wax anyway. I suppose what you're really looking at is removing the varnish completely. And the last one now, I'm aware of the time of the... I'm aware of the time the film is, so I'll need to hurry that up a bit. I'd like, I'd like to tell you that that's got rid of the milkiness, but it hasn't, but it has got rid of some of that wax that I'd put on it. Furniture polish wax. Uh, right, so that's it done. with my hands most of it air dry it and then use my cloth so I don't get those cloths dirty yet that's it use a bit, a bit of polish in the yellow one right well I've got to tell you looking at it um, the creaminess is still there or the oxidisation still there, but it looks like I've seemed to have got most of that wax off. So anyway, we're getting near restringing. Um, I'll do that as well on t on video, and also setting it up with the with the right sort of with the kit which I've got there, which is the Luthia kit, and see it. I mean, I'd like to have got rid of that horrible colour but it won't but anyway um, I'm going to put the, the other cleaner come I'll use that and then I'll put this uh, polish on it and try and keep it going with that uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to settle for that I mean I think the only way you're gonna get that creamy things off is to actually strip all the varnish off you're not gonna to want to do that but uh, anyway, there we go so it's going it's got a lovely tone that guitar when it's done Okay, that is my second attempt at Luthering. I don't know if such a verb as Luthering, but anyway, Luthering. Thank you. Uh, where's that little... Oh, well, I've switched off my hand. <laughs>